Guys, I'm back. I'm so excited. I just finished this wonderful, wonderful trilogy and I can't wait. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah. I have green screen. <laughs> Once again, I'd just like to apologize that it's taken me this long to put up another review. November, NaNoWriMo was crazy. I finished the first draft. It was about 90,000 words long. And it was probably one of the most exhilarating experiences of my life. And then December rolled in and it was the holidays and I just didn't have time to read, let alone make reviews for the one book I did read during December. Luckily, it's part of a trilogy, so I just figured I would do the whole set after I was finished. And I am. It's one of my all-time favorite trilogies. It's called The Chanters of Tremeris Trilogy by Kate Constable. I found the first book in this series a couple years ago at my library. As I was browsing the bindings, there was this title that just stood out, like, ah! It's called The Singer of All Songs. Personally, I love to sing. So after reading this title and figuring out that it was young adult fantasy, I just had to give it a try. Anytime I tell people of these books, no one knows what I'm talking about. Which is so sad, because they are so amazing. So amazing. Ah! The author lives in Australia, and it's possible that these are really, really popular down there, but I have yet to meet someone that has read it before I have recommended it. Oh, so good. The books are called Singer of All Songs, The Waterless Sea, and The Tenth Power. This is the second time I've read these books, and I got so much more out of it this time, which is why I love to reread. Oh, so good. Sorry, moment of reverie there for a minute. <laughs> this book has one of my all-time favorite male lead characters. Yes, he's the love interest. And there's a reason why I love him so much. Yes, when he is with Cowan, the main character, there are moments when he is incredibly sweet and caring, and but he acts like a guy. He's not over the top and a little femmy in his relationship with the girl. And he definitely does not sparkle in the sunshine. He is not that cliche guy that every female author writes. He acts like a man. Sometimes he's moody, sometimes he's distant, but most of the time he acts like a man, which is just refreshing. And I think that Kate Constable's ability to write a male love interest that acts like a male <laughs> is just utterly refreshing and totally fabulous. There's something else about this book. I have come to realize something about myself. I am highly attracted to arrogant and self-centered, suave villains. You know the kind, like Gaston, I'm self-assured and cocky and I think that everything should go my way. I love those kind of villains. I love them. This book has one of those villains. Hmm. Huh. Have you ever read a book that when you're reading it, your heart feels so full that it feels like it's about to burst and then it ends and it's like your heart just deflates like a balloon and you're left with this empty feeling inside? You know it's because the book was so good and you know that you're just sad that it's over. I get that feeling when I read these books. I felt incredibly saddened when I finished this last book. It's books that make me feel like that then let me know that, holy cow, that was such a good book. There's only a handful that make me feel that way when I read it. These are in that handful. There is a little pet peeve I have with these books. In the first two, the chapters are insanely long. <laughs> like 60 pages. So in the first two books, you only have like six chapters. I like short chapters. I think 15 pages is about the limit for me. Occasionally 20, maybe. But 60 pages? Oh, I just like to sit down if I have free time and just pump out a chapter really fast. You can't do that with the first two novels. And so it may seem like you're going really, really slow when you're reading. Don't give up because the story is incredible. Incredible trilogy. Highly recommended. Five stars. The next book on my list is The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. Love him, love him, love him. I'm so excited, haven't started reading yet, 
but I can't wait. Yay! Also, if you have recommendations, please leave them in the comments. I'm always looking for great books to read and I would love to hear what books you would like me to review. If you are interested in buying the Chanters of Tremere's Trilogy by Kate Constable, there are links in the sidebar.